it's time for more empties and you might be saying didn't you just do this and the answer is yes yes I did but I didn't get through the whole basket because I cut myself off and I put a handful of new things in here so I figured just go ahead and do it again I'm in cleaning mode anyway so I'm trying to get rid of stuff and I don't need to keep a basket of trash hanging around uh, ooh, this actually is really yummy. Smashmallows and toasted vanilla. So I got these from Target. They're gluten-free marshmallows. They're really delicious. They have a bunch of different flavors. Yummy. 110% recommend. That was my favorite one. They also have like a cinnamon churro one. And I didn't like it as much because all the stuff on the outside falls off. Um, but those are good. Um, they had like peppermint ones for Christmas and you know, whatever. Um, Harper and Airy exfoliating juice sugar cubes in juice cleanse. So this is my favorite one. I, um, they're green. So I got those for the first time in a FabFitFun box and I just loved them. It's really easy. You just take a cube in the shower with you. You exfoliate what you need to exfoliate. It's enough for your whole body. It's like the perfect size. And um, they are scented. But um, they do a fragrance. But really easy to use. Really good convenience item. They're packable so you could travel with them. And it not be a huge deal. Um, just a really fun different product. Especially if you don't really love like keeping a bottle of exfoliant in your shower. Like this is a really easy thing and they're, you know, the perfect size for honestly your whole body. But it's a fun thing. Um, more of that salt. Sell so Gris Gray Sea Salt from the Salts of the World from Target. Um, um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. So there's one with the blue top and one with the pink top. Um, I like the one with the blue top better. It's different for whatever reason. I'm, I've read through both of them and I don't know what the difference is because it says it's for all skin types, even sensitive skin, they're all in one. They remove makeup, cleanse, refresh, no rinse. I do feel like I need to rinse after using these though, honestly. Um, I had gotten some on Amazon that came with minis, so I had like two big bottles and then like a mini bottle or a couple of mini bottles, I don't know, so I'm still going through them because they last forever, but there's no oil, no alcohol, no fragrance. A friend recommended these to me and it's fine I feel like it leaves a film on my skin though and that's kind of what I don't like and I can't figure out the difference between the pink top and the blue top to save my life um Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana spray so this one is like a pistachio scent um if you've used like the Brazilian bum bum cream that's like the yellow container this is the same brand but Coco Cabana is like a pistachio scent. Um, these are made in the USA. They do contain fragrance, but like it smells yummy. It smells like you're at the beach. That's what it smells like to me. So not something I would repurchase because obviously we're trying to be fragrance free over here. But um, if I was going to purchase something with fragrance, it would be that. Um, Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This is a deluxe sample from Sephora. Um, a full size is super expensive, but I do like this. Um, this is just something I'm throwing away and threw in here. Avon Glimmer Sticks Waterproof Eyeliner in Midnight Blue. I don't know how long I've had this. Way too long. It needs to go in the trash black eye mask with hyaluronic hy hyaluronic acid so there were five sets in here 
I do really like these. I got those from FabFitFun also. Right here, another eyeliner, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Perversion, which is black. <laughs> um, also, just don't use that. It needs to go in the trash. Um, Bromo London Moisture Renew Universal Transparent Lip Liner. I actually got this for free. So, what is it called? There's like this thing where you answer questions and stuff and if you qualify they'll send you coupons for products or sometimes they'll send you free products. That's where I got this. I have to think about it. But it was several years ago it needs to go in the trash. But I do like the idea of a universal clear type of lip liner. NARS Climax Mascara Mini. I do like this. I've had it too long. It needs to go in the trash. But um, I do stand by my statement that I've made several times that if you're not looking for like clean mascara, if you don't really care and you like to mix it up, you do not ever need to buy a full-size mascara, ever. You can get a deluxe sample of mascara from Sephora basically all the time. Um, you just don't need full-size mascara. Um, this is the Duce Punk Volumizer Mascara. I got this in a FabFitFun box. I did not purchase a full-size mascara. But, you know, you're supposed to be throwing them out every three to six months just because of sanitary purposes so what's the point in paying for a full size one if you're not even going to be able to use it amore pacific botanical radiance oil also from sephora i don't like that um aesthetica liquid strobe prism in light to medium so this is like a clicky highlighting pen and it's hard to control how much comes out and that's what i don't like about it i got this from fabfitfun um it's a good idea, but I don't like that it's a clicky pen top. Um, I have some oils in here. Clary Sage, good for all the lady problems. Lime, I like in the diffuser with spearmint or peppermint. I like this on my dryer balls a lot. Um, Progescence Plus Serum, this one was the one that I carried in my purse for a while, so it looks pretty beat up. Um, this has USP gray progesterone in it, so if you need that, talk to your doctor. Um, peppermint Vitality, so good in your water, but only one drop, because if you do more than that, it will be too much. Jade Lemon, which is one of my fave, fave, faves. I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Um, Dr. Jart Peptidin Firming Serum. This is a sample from Sephora. It was fine. I don't think that's enough of a sample for you to be able to tell if you really like it or not. Um, Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I did actually like this one a lot, um, but it is very expensive. So, wouldn't purchase a full size probably, but I do really like it. Um, a bottle of Sulfurzyme capsules. So Young Living has this in powder and capsules. The powder is sweetened with stevia so you can put it in drinks and stuff. These are not. I have both and if I'm gonna mix it in Ningxia, I use the powder. If I don't have time for all that, I just take two capsules and move on. Young Living acne treatment. I do like this. It's very moisturizing but you know, it's 2% salicylic acid, and I feel like you can't just use this and expect your acne to go away, especially if you have PCOS. Um, isopropyl alcohol, which we know I go through a decent amount of. Some Q-tips, just because Q-tips for everything. Here's um, Walgreens cotton balls. Some more Walgreens cotton balls. And these are cotton balls from Walmart. So I use tons of cotton balls, use them for everything. Ooh, Ula Tea CBD Honey Pearls. If you don't know, um, the Ula guys are shutting down Ula Tea. I mentioned it on Instagram that I'm not happy. 
but as long as things are still in stock, I think they're officially shutting things down in April, but while things are in stock, you can get 70% off of everything with the code GRATEFUL, G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L, all lowercase, even Honey Pearls, which I bought some of for 50% off with the Valentine's Day code a week before they announced that they were shutting it all down. Really not happy, and their reason is that they're trying to focus on, you know, their other stuff. They have books, they do coaching with people, um, and they want to focus more on that, and they feel like ULT is taking away too much of their time. But I'm like, you're cutting off a whole part of your... And they acted like ULT is very successful. So it's not like we're not making money on this. We need to focus on something else and make money. They're acting like it's very successful. But they don't have time for it. And I don't know why they can't delegate. Or, um, you know, you're cutting off part of your market of people that you're interacting with. I'm like, I don't really have a reason to interact with them now that they don't have their oils with Young Living. Those were discontinued last year. Um, I have their books that I'm going to buy. I got them from a friend, discounted. Um, and now they don't have Uleti anymore, or they're not going to. And so I don't have any reason to hang out on their Instagram page or talk about them because... They don't really have anything for me anymore. I get the emails all the time. They're like, hey, be a coach, be a coach, be a coach. And I'm like, it's just not my jam. And you're kind of alienating people by the way you went about things. Um, for me personally, to use a 50% off code that they're saying is going to last until February 14th. And whatever, I put that on my Instagram, like, get 50% off I'm so excited and then um like halfway through that they're they're like oh 70% off everything like the 50% off code was not even done yet and they're saying oh 70% off everything we're liquidating everything it was a really big shock and I don't like the way they went about that and if something is making you money but you don't have time for it, I think you should figure out how to delegate and keep that business open if you can um, because it makes me feel like it's not, it wasn't successful and they don't want to say that because they don't want to feel unsuccessful at something. So, end rant, I'm not happy. Um, if you have places that you buy tea from that you really like, please put them in the comments. I really like hibiscus and I'm a big fan of spearmint tea. So they kind of need to have those things. Um, these are the Trader Joe's Micellar Cleansing um, Makeup Remover. My sister didn't like these. I did. My mom bought them for us. Um, they're makeup wipes. Um, I got an e.l.f. black pack and a blue pack of makeup wipes. Oh, here's another black pack. I use those all the time. So I use the black pack if I have a full face on. And I might follow that up with a blue one, but if I just have on like eye makeup or something on, I just use the blue one just because I feel like they're gentler. Um, the blue ones are hydrating water. I don't know if my mom doesn't like the blue ones. She only likes the black makeup removing ones. She says that the blue ones are like too strong for her skin. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, the laundress signature detergent in classic i got this from fab fit fun it does look like there's a decent amount still in the bottom but i tried and tried and tried to get that to come out and i couldn't um it is super concentrated it it does have um fragrance in it which you know is what it is non-toxic biodegradable allergen free cruelty free no animal byproducts um you know essential oils and then fragrance is the last um ingredient so fragrance is at the bottom there shouldn't be a lot of it in there but you know one of those things that when you're going fragrance free i can just use 
Dave's Laundry Detergent that doesn't have fragrance. Um, Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. Also a mini just is old and needs to go in the trash. That one's pretty good actually. Um, YSL The Shock Mascara. Deluxe Sample Eye. I think this is the one that I like it. But the wand is like weird. I don't like the wand. So that's just old too. It needs to go in the trash. Um, another Avon Glimmer Sticks Diamonds Eyeliner in Smoky Diamond, which is like a gray shimmer that is super old. No, thank you. Um, Young Living Cinnamon Lip Balm. Yum. Um, Cinnamon and Vanilla Mint are my favorite. Cinnamon because I can buy it all the time, and Vanilla Mint because yum. Um, a Clinique Quick Liner for Intense Eyes in Intense Ebony, which is black. Old. I don't use eyeliner. In high school, I think the only beauty product I used was eyeliner. And now I'm like, what's eyeliner? I don't use that stuff. Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. Eh, it was fine. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Don't need it. Um, Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clear Invisible Dots. I do really, really like these, but they're so expensive um, that I don't always repurchase them as often as I should. I think if I stayed on top of it and repurchased more often, maybe my skin would like me. But um, they're just so expensive, and I don't know why. And there are other acne dots on the market. I've tried some, not all of them because it's exhausting to keep up with what you like and what you don't like. Um, but that's something I would repurchase. They're just really expensive. Ginger Lily Farms Botanicals Fruits and Herbs Therapy Fizzy Balms. My sister bought these. They're bath bombs. Um, one was papaya and green tea. One was orange and grapefruit. One was lavender, chamomile, and orange. And the last one was peppermint and lavender. They did contain fragrance. They do contain dyes which I think is just so unnecessary um, and they're made in China but my sister bought me those I used them nothing terrible happened but not something that I would purchase for myself Murad acne control rapid relief spot treatment I do like it it does work pretty good but um, if there's a spot it doesn't clear up like it's not gonna clear it up it doesn't matter how much you put on there it clears it up or it doesn't. Um, Kiehl's since 1851. Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. So this has like this kind of gross. Um, shimmer stuff in it. If you're as fair as I am, don't buy this. It's, it made me look orangey. It was gross. Um, Shea Butter Heart of Gold Hand Cream. It's Berry. It's from Bath & Body Works. A child gave it to me for Valentine's Day one year. Not this year, obviously. But I kept it in my purse for a long time. And finally took it out and just used it up and threw it in this box. Um, Makeup Revolution Conceal & Defined Concealer. The color is C1, which I think is the lightest shade. But what I did was I popped out the thing so that I could get the rest of it out. It's like weird crusty in there now um, so that I could get all of it out because it was a really good shade for me but it's not something that I would repurchase. I think I got that at Ulta for like 10 or 15 bucks so it's not super expensive but you know bergamot 15 milliliter um, milk makeup couche mascara that actually is a really good mascara. Um, Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I do like this one too. I basically like all of Drunk Elephant's stuff. It's just so expensive. The, I mean, it just is. Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Chapstick. I That's my favorite Burt's Bees chapstick, honestly. Another Jade Lemon. Like I said, it's my fave. I say that all the time and... I feel like people don't believe me, but it's my favorite. Like, this is like $11, and it lasts. I use a lot of it, but it lasts plenty. 
long enough. Um, Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. So it's like a exfoliating treatment. Um, I do like this. And more oil. More oil that's trickled down all the way to the bottom. Um, Citrus Fresh. And then a Lemon Vitality. So the white labels you can ingest. The color labels you cannot. So like there's a white label of Citrus Fresh. And there's a yellow label of Lemon. Um, so you should really only ingest the white ones. But if it has a white label you know it's safe for ingestion. It's generally regarded as safe for ingestion. Oh, I have Beauty Counter in here. Oh, I just finished this. Um, the Counter Control Instant Matte Toner. I do really like this. It has like a little dropper in there. And I feel like I got every single bit of it out of here. Um, it's really good. It doesn't make my, fin my face, my skin feel like sticky or anything. Like I feel like some toners either are drying or make me feel sticky. And I don't feel either one of those with that. It is like a good... I don't necessarily think it's like super mattifying. But it's not bad either. And the last thing in the basket. The basket's finally empty. Um, is this um, Nassif in MD Dermaceuticals Detox Pads. These were from a FabFitFun box. And they smell super weird. I don't know what that scent is. But they, they felt nice on the skin. But because they just smell so weird, I had an issue. I have an issue with that. I, it just, they have witch hazel in them. They do have fragrance. Willow bark extract. I just don't know what the scent is supposed to be. And it's super weird I just I can't even describe the scent to you it's very light but when you're putting it on your face you're like what is that um anyways that's all I got all this all this mess of stuff that now I get to throw away um all beauty counter stuff has the recycling instructions tells you how to recycle all of that um most of Young Living stuff tells you the same thing beauty counters information is actually a little bit easier to understand um, just the way they have it set up these little samples and things these usually aren't recyclable just because they're just they're not recyclable so um, yeah that's it I'll see you guys later <laughs> bye have a great day